Uh, we are coming up uh, at 745 will be Gary's uh, pre-race speech uh, right down here at the beach and then uh, you guys will be heading off at 8 o'clock. today first ever ultra round of applause for this crew right here all right it is a perfect day to run 50 kilometers i tell you you're going to line up on that side of the arch you're going to run along the beach following these pylons so we're here at the 23rd edition of the Diaz Vista 50 kilometer race down at White Pine Beach, the start finish line. We had 300 runners start today. They'll be out on course for anywhere from four to uh, four to 10 hours and uh, very typical uh, weather for the April running uh, of this race for the 50K. A little bit of everything. You never know what you're gonna get. It might be sunny in an hour. So we're here at um, aid station number three, uh, which is midway through the race. We're about 23 kilometers into the race. Runners will be coming in, grabbing their drop bag, something at the aid station if they so desire, and then head out for the second half of the race. Do you need anything else? No, that's great. We've seen the beast. All good. Thank you. All right, have fun. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. We had gone out on a training run and I had, I had no idea that it just goes up and up and up and then you finally reach the saddle and then you go up some more and I was blown away at this huge climb but there are these 10 viewpoints that show really a, a 360 degree view of Vancouver and the North Shore Mountains. It, it's challenging. It's got a little bit of everything in there. You know, some roots, some rocks, some beautiful lake views, very difficult hill climbs, some awesome downhills, some nice level kind of running to give you a chance to recover and get yourself together before getting on to the next challenge. It's a tough race. It's rewarding though. You get to the end of it and you, you feel like you really achieved something. <laughs> Same volunteers would come out every year, whether they're runners themselves or whether they're not. And uh, aid stations would be the same people, so you'd get that sense of ownership, and that would last over years. the end of a, a long hard stretch here so by the time you get to this point they're 37 37 and a half k into it they're tired they're beat up and they're probably discouraged and our job is to get them back up that hill so once you get to the top of this hill it's like downhill towards the finish line but our job is to give them that energy and enthusiasm to get out of here we've been doing this probably for a dozen or more years and before this we did a couple more years uh, at a station six which is the bottom of the uh the, this the hill there hey don't say it's all i'm just going with all the stereotypes sorry <laughs>
You got this climb out of here, and then the second climb is about the same, man. Yeah. That way. Back that up, way. Go, well done. Go, go. Go, go. She looks great. She's doing fantastic. And look at that. High fives for the two like top women. That's so rad. I'm good. Who's like you? Amy on the road. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, thank you. It's like perfect conditions. I'm barely sweating. Have fun. In a way, that became my favorite part of the route because you got to see how other racers were doing, and it became, it, you know, it would just be the high five the whole way down, talking to different people as you saw them. Here she comes, women's winner, 509, Katie Mills! Oh my god, the difference is like six seconds, wow! I've heard rumors you ran stride for stride the whole day. Is that true? We're tight, we're tight. You are amazing, downhill runner. You're both amazing, that was an incredible run today. Well done, ladies. Great job today. Thank First you. 10 seconds, just seconds apart. When George and I were the co-race directors, there was one year where Gary Robbins came across the finish line, and I believe that he won that year and may have set a course record. And when he came over to George and me afterwards, and he uh, still sweaty from the run and still, you know, elated with having done so well, and he came to us and said, you know, if you're ever tired of running this race, please keep me in mind and give me a call because I would love to take it over. But he had it in his mind a long time before it happened. They think they're going to make it into the final five. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, everybody. There's sushi, there's massage, there's coffee, there's soup, and there's good times to be had. And John Crosby is going to continue to entertain you on the microphone. Thanks for coming out today. And of course, every racer.